Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to look at gravitational acceleration as it applies to falling objects. Okay, so so far we've learned that any object, when it falls, accelerates downwards towards the Earth. And we saw that there are five parameters that we need to consider. The first one is initial velocity. Now, when I have a falling object, so imagine I'm standing on a ledge, and I'm not jumping, I promise, okay, I am dropping a ball. When I stand on a ledge dropping a ball, the initial velocity of that ball is zero because it's at rest. Now, not unless I throw it down, I'm just dropping it, the initial velocity will be zero. Next is final velocity. Now, this value will depend on, on how long it takes this ball to drop. So I might measure after one second or maybe after two seconds. So one second after two seconds I might measure it and depending on how long it falls the velocity will be affected because of acceleration the next value is acceleration acceleration is constant at 9,8 meters per second squared now you'll notice that I chose positive 9.8 that means that you can choose whether you want downwards to be positive or upwards to be positive now it makes sense to choose downwards as positive because nothing is going up. In some uh, instances, for example, in the next topic we're going to look at projected um, objects. That means we're throwing it up in the air and then it makes sense to choose up or down in that instance. For now I'm going to choose downwards as positive and therefore since I'm accelerating downwards my speed increases as I go down. Um, this would be positive 9.8 meters per second squared. Next is the change in displacement. Now again, change in displacement, that's talking about how far it is falling. That obviously depends on how long it is falling for. And therefore, it is a variable that we will calculate. Finally, we have this change in time. Now, change in time is actually the independent variable. That is the one that's usually given in a question where they say, how far will it fall in five seconds? Okay, so this is the independent variable and therefore it's usually stated in the question. Sometimes I have to go and work it out. How long does it fall to reach a certain uh, distance or to reach a certain velocity? But most of the time this is given in a question. I think the best thing to do next is to jump into a few examples.